10 times 10 times 10. Hi everyone, it's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. Today's workout, we're doing a 10 times 10 times 10. I'm giving you 10 exercises. You're doing each for 10 reps, and then you're repeating it for 10 rounds. All right, got that? So if you haven't done a warm up, make sure that you do. You can click the card right up here, and there's a warm up up there that you can follow along with. Get nice and warm, because we are doing this. We're doing 10 times 10 times 10, and starting right now. And so you're familiar, before we start, here's a quick preview of all 10 exercises. We're gonna get started here. So if you'd like to time yourself, that's a great idea because then you can progressively get better. Sometimes I'll even time myself each round and uh, see how well I do and try and beat my own time. If you wanna time yourself and post your comment or your time in the comments below, I'd love to see it. We can share with the community how fast we are at doing this 10 times 10 times 10 challenge. All right, starting with jumping lunges. Are you ready? Three, two, let's go for 10. Here we go. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's how that one's counted. Good. Going to those in and out push ups. So jumping in, jack, push up. That's one, two, down for those X position abs. 10 here. Wide legs, wide arms, all the way up. And 10. Woo. Reverse ice skaters. So, in essence, you're jumping backwards instead of side to side. So you're here for 10, nine, eight, six, two, one. Good. Whew. Okay, pendulum, 10 for leg. Bring it back, lunge. All right, switch legs. And here. Go 
Boys work. Okay, side plank, leg lift. Pop up there, we'll stick for 10. Each side here. Switch. And go. Hard on the obliques. All right, good. Rotational spider jump, touching the ground like a snowboarder. Touch the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, bottom burpees. Stay low. Jump your feet here. Switch up. Ten here. Don't come up. I smell the amber in your skin as you held me back You wrapped me up in a sand. Last one. Okay. Into that full sit up with the crab toe touch. Ten in total. One. Round one, let's hit round two. There we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and push ups. In, out, one. Switch. 
eight, nine, ten. Oh, our glutes even. Okay, spider jump, rotational. Touch the ground. Two.
10. Bottom burpees. sure where you're at, but ready for round four. Here we go. Ten. Push-ups. Here we go. Part of the 
Draw it two. Pulse it up. Crab toe. Make sure you're listening to your body. Break if you need. If not, let's get going. Round five. Okay, push ups. Let's forget. Elevated donkey.
keep going if you can. I'll be right back. We're back. Jumping lunges. 10. Push ups.
you can do however many reps you can do and then change with me but so this one's a bit trickier so you guys can stay by my pace go faster than my pace or just check the very front make sure you know how to do all the exercises and then do your own pace right all right moving on jumping lunges push-ups elevated donkey. Ten here. Side plank. Up for ten. difference than two legs for me for sure. I haven't done too many of these clearly. Ten. Oh. Okay. Little break if you need. Oh. 
Round eight. 10 lunges. Push ups. In and out. In. Out. One. I'm modifying now the whole time. Just my shoulders are getting sore. Six. Give our final push here. 
round nine. Jumping lunges. Six, seven, eight. Push ups. One. In, out, and down. Donkeys, feet elevated. Seven, 
eight, nine, and push-ups. Go. In, out, push-up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that one. I think my last time was the fastest. I'll have to wait till I edit it and see, but I'm going to post my fastest time below and I would love it if you would just post your fastest time below as well or your whole time for the whole 10 rounds. All right, I'm going to do a little stretch. Feel free to join me if you can. Let's get down in this little froggy squat position. One hand on the ground, pushing that knee out and we're going to rotate up towards the ceiling. Push your thumb to the ceiling here. That was long, hey? Like initially, I'm like 10 times, 10 times, 10. That's a good idea. And then after round one, when I saw it was five minutes, I honestly was gonna make this like a 30 minute video because, switch sides, the other day it was like almost an hour. And believe it or not, that actually takes a really long time to edit uh, an hour long video. Probably takes me about four or five hours to do it. So 
I'm like, I'm just gonna make this short and sweet for Saturday. But no, I had to do a 10 times 10 times 10. Oh well, aren't you glad you did it? I sure am. All right, let's slowly stand up here. Keep your hands down on the ground if you can. Stretching those hamstrings. Keep your knees soft, don't lock it out. Just hang out there for as long as you can, get as low as you can. You can just grab your elbows and give your upper body a gentle little swing right here too. Good. Oh, hamstrings are tight. That feels really good, doesn't it? Oh, just heart rate still coming down here. All right. Go ahead and sit all the way down on the ground. Nice and slow. Okay, one leg out. Let's hinge forward at the waist. Get down there, stretch that out. All right. Now, you know, those are great little um, high intensity workouts like that. And that one is super easy to do because you can take it anywhere and no equipment required. Who knew, hey, you could get such a good workout with no equipment? Well, you knew because you're doing this video and you're probably sweating by now like I am. No, it's good, it's great for if you're on holidays and even if you only had half an hour, do five rounds, it's perfect. Did you switch legs? I hope so. Hinge forward at the waist here. Anyway, that was really good, I really liked that. I'm glad that it's over though. Not going to lie. Oh, it feels good. Okay, just sit cross-legged. Let's round through the back here. Okay, try to separate those shoulder blades gently side to side. Feeling this in my back right now, a little bit lower back from all the jumping, but that's where a foam roller is good. Just to camp out on a foam roller and do some stretches on there is always a good idea after a hoppy, jumpy sort of workout. All right, let's put our hands behind us and we're gonna stretch through the chest. Oh, incidentally, this is a really great stretch if you are on your computer all day, which the lion's share of humanity is on their computers and phones, just to stretch open through those pec muscles. I would do this daily, or even better, every time you walk through a door frame, one hand here, one hand here, lean through the door frame so you can get into those pecs. I have issues in my one rear scapula on my right here because this shoulder anteriorly rotates all the time. So it's kind of pulling, putting tension on here and sometimes it goes a little bit numb, right? So I have to continually remember to open up and stretch through there. Just a little tilt to the side on your neck here and the other side too. Oh, that feels good. All right, well continue stretching if you're still sore if you want to. I'm gonna sign off right now, but thank you for joining today. If you did this video and you liked it, make sure you smash that like button. It does help, it does help in the algorithm to get these videos out there a little bit more. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you do. Again, at Move Daily Fitness, we're all about nutrition, wellness, and fitness, and doing it in a way that's sustainable for the long haul. All right, I hope you like this video. As always, go and move daily.